Just wanted to give you a quick tour of the installation of the system in my truck. Uh, I've tried to make it as OEM as possible. It's a 2002 Ford Explorer sports track. First I'll cover what's inside. What I've done inside is you have your voltmeter and your ammeter all on a gauge pot off to the side here. The pulse width modulator I've installed it right here. Convenient little switch there but I will be removing that. Uh, the new pulse width modulator that's coming in has more settings than the original um, inexpensive unit. I just recently installed an exhaust gas temperature uh, gauge to measure the gases and that's of course the on off switch for the generator itself. Uh, as you can see everything inside the truck looks basically stock. It doesn't look like Marty McFly's DeLorean with wires and whatnot hanging all over the place. Above here is my scan gauge uh, giving me all the readings of the truck. Now we go over to the engine compartment. Alright, as you can see, down at the bottom of the front piece is the generator itself, all the hosing and piping, the reservoir, the circulating pump. Uh, this is an optional piece. Uh, I think I'm going to wind up putting it on a switch for must-use, must-need situations. Uh, it's kind of noisy. It drives me up a wall. Uh, and so far I really haven't had a problem with the overheating of the cell. Uh, rolling over to this side you have the bubbler. The bubbler has a flash port on it. Inside here we're carrying a brass stone um, basically it's a fuel filter for a Rochester carburetor hooked right up to the line um, th and it's filled with a 50-50 mix of vinegar and water basically this is to keep you from um, bringing in the electrolyte and so forth the steam into the intake uh, coming across going right into the thing goes right out the other side I've got a flashback arrestor right here. The line continues and it's ported right into my intake at this point here. Uh, as you can see I've opted to use a solenoid versus a relay. All the wiring is inside as you can see. This is my FE sitting on the side right here. Uh, it's powered by from a power port off my main fuse box. All the wiring, as you can see, is all stock. It goes right to the computer. The FE is cut inside there. Additionally, I've decided to use not only fuses in my installation, as you can see right here, uh, but also resettable circuit breakers. I found these to be incredibly useful. I've thrown the breaker by pushing the pulse width modulator a little too much. It clicks, turns it off, clicks right back on. Uh, they come in different amperages and I'm rolling with a 30 amp. But basically as you can see my engine compartment looks like it is factory stock. Doesn't look like any bastardization of anything. And it takes a little time, but you can actually do it nice and neat. So, that's basically the install here. Um, now I'm in my testing phases where I'll see how everything does and what kind of mileage increases I get. And of course I'll start tweaking the Effie little by little. Um, to see if I can get better improvements in gas. Um, as of yesterday, I refilled the tank, reset the scan gauge, and we're all set to go. Let's see what the first tank of gas does. 
This is HHO Sports Track with our first testings.